Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I'm Dr. Todd Allen Farmer, Chief of Staff, and I will be the MC this morning. We appreciate your attendance and excitement for Tarleton State University and Tarleton Athletics. We thank our students, faculty, staff, friends for being here today. In addition, I see several members of university leadership, as well as current and former leaders of the Texan Club, the Tarleton Foundation, and the Tarleton Alumni Association Board of Directors. Thank you all for being here. I'd like to extend a special thank you to Congressman Charles Stemholm and Stephenville Mayor Kenny Weldon for being here today. Thank both of you. Following the conclusion of today's announcement, each of our speakers will be available to the press for questions and statements. Tarleton State University has a tradition of success in athletics, and today's announcements represent a continuation of that heritage. To bring two special announcements, please help me welcome to the podium the 15th president of Tarleton State University, President F. Dominic Dottavio. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being out in such large numbers. Obviously, we were expecting a few uh, less people with the chairs that we have. Well, as you know, all across the country right now, we're in the midst of March Madness. You know, more than 70 million people have filled out their brackets, none of which, by the way, have been correct. <clears throat> so it seems like everyone is following the latest with regard to basketball news. Well, we have some pretty exciting basketball news of our own to share today. Uh, Lon Reisman, our coach of 30 years, head coach of 30 years, and for the last 20, as our athletic director, has decided to do something a little different. Lon told me it's time for him to step down as a basketball coach and give his full-time attention to being the athletic director of Tarleton State University. Congratulations, coach. <laughs> now, this, this is something that Lon told me that he wants to do. In fact, it's something that he came to me, I think it was about eight years ago, and said, it's time for us to start to think about a transition. At the time, I asked him, well, could you give me another year or two so we can uh, get some things stabilized. Well, that year or two became three or four, and then that four became eight. But make no mistake about this, uh, Lon is not retiring. Any of you that know Lon understands that he is not retiring. As full-time athletic director, he's going to bring his leadership. I know his ethical standards his emphasis on the university's core values even more intensely to the 14 intercollegiate athletic programs that we have here at this university. As the athletic director, he's elevated our facilities. He certainly has raised our profile in a number of our programs to national prominence. I think we have momentum both at the university and in our athletic programs, and I know under his leadership we have many more great achievements ahead because Lon just will not rest until a number of things are done. And I know right now he's always already trying to move on with Coach getting the football stadium completed and moving on to some renovation of our softball and baseball facilities. Now, well, part of the program today is certainly to announce that he's moving to this full-time position. We also want you all to know, because I know there are many, many people out there that love him deeply, that uh, in, a, in a few months, we're going to honor him for his legendary achievements as Tarleton's winningest basketball coach. But I think I'd be remiss if I didn't at least pause for a moment to uh, reflect on a couple of those great achievements today. As Tarleton's basketball coach, he has more NCAA wins than any other coach in the state of Texas. He's been the coach of the year a remarkable 13 times. He's created a national powerhouse ranked uh, number one four times. And he, and he was the first in Lone Star Conference history to make the Elite Eight four different times. And I think it's fitting, too, that as he closes out his coaching career, 
Next week at the men's Final Four in San Antonio, he'll be honored by the National Association of Basketball Coaches with the 2018 Guardians of the Game Award for Leadership. In announcing the award, the past president of the Coaches Association said this about him. Lon has built one of the most preeminent programs in America that has stood the test of time. I'll tell you this, I could not agree with that statement more, and I could not be more proud of Lon being the recipient of the award for leadership, which I think, as most of you know, is one of the core values of this university. Lon is stepping down as coach, I think, at the top of his profession. He leaves a legacy of excellence and certainly of great achievement. And I can't wait to see all that he will accomplish when he's devoting full time to being the athletic director. Now, I expect some of his staff might be a little nervous about that because it means he has more time. Uh, Lon, I know from Misty, and Misty, thank you for being such an important part of this over the years. We, we certainly know that you have been an integral part of all the success. I, I talked to Misty yesterday, and she said she was really looking forward to Lon only having one full-time job. But I think we all know, uh, because of the makeup of this man, that it's not in his character to only have one full-time job. He'll be giving 200% the entire time. She also told me that they were hoping, uh, I guess in a phone conversation with, the, with your brother, that they would now be able to spend a little beach time, maybe in October, November, March, and then Lon started talking about, but I got to finish a football stadium. I got to get on the baseball stadium. So, uh, but Misty, I do hope that he has more time to spend with you and the family. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very proud to announce uh, again that Lon Reisman is now our full-time athletic director and invite him to the podium to say some words. I do agree with Dr. DeTavio. This is a celebration. It's not a time to be sad. So I'll just kind of hold it together here for a little bit. And uh, I can't think of a better place to do this than on a floor that I've been on for 30 years at Tarleton State University. Uh, there's some people I want to thank. And uh, it's always hard that you might miss somebody. But I, I, if I do, I love every one of you. Um, I want to thank my wife, Misty, for her support through the years. Uh, when you come home after a game, you're either happy or smiling, or you're in a bad mood, one of the two, and you stay up all night. Uh, she has to put up with me during that time, and uh, I'm not the easiest person to live with after a loss, so I want to thank Misty, my wife, for the years that we've been together, and thank you for what you've done to keep my head up. I want to thank my children, Chris, Lana's not here this morning, Blaine, my son-in-law, Casey, I don't think Davin's here, or Blake. Um, I want to thank them. I want to thank my grandchildren, who are my pride and my joy. Rush, Reisman, Macy, and Molly, and all my grandchildren are not here. They are my pride and joy, and I think you see them at all the games. And You know, win or lose, when they come up and jump in your arms, it just makes you feel a lot better. I want to thank my administrative staff, who's made it possible for me to be successful in a dual job for 25 years. Susan and Terry and Troy, Justin, Byron, Kathy, Rod, BJ, Nathan, Ryan, Adam, many others who have left over the years. I see a few in here today that, that you were a very integral part in, in, in this position. I see Steve Simpson, who was, who's been in athletics many years, and I see Casey Hogan here and, and, and others that, that have been a part of athletics and, and helped me be successful in this dual road role. Texan Club members and board members, thank you for your support. Um, I've kind of have a, I have a surrogate mother and father here, and that's Lamar and Marilyn Johansson. I thank them so much for, for their leadership and their undying love for me. Been like second parents for me. Texan Club board members, and, and I, I remember this. If you're a Texan Club board member, you've been so positive and you have been... Uh, such a part of the success, not just for the basketball program, but all of our programs. And I always remember Lamar and Perry Elliott and Lamar Johansson always telling me, are you ever going to get me to Springfield? That's where the Elite Eight is. Well, we got to Springfield, and then they traveled to Evansville, 
And David Tomlinson was driving him. I guess he thinks he was driving the plane to some of these places, but he wasn't. But, uh, you know, they have followed me, Lamar Perry and David, to Springfield, North Dakota, Evansville, Bolivar, Missouri, Vegas, all the way to the West Coast. And I don't think, I think they've been in every gym in the Lone Star Conference. And I thank them for their support, along with the rest of the Texan Club members and, and board members and the followers that have followed me all these years. And Dr. Dottavio, I thank you for your support and your backing, <clears throat> what you do for Tarleton on a daily basis, and your great vision for Tarleton. And I appreciate your support and your leadership of your executive cabinet, and I thank you very much for this opportunity. Finally, i give you a little bit of insight. I know that I, before games, I'm always, in the, I'm always in the locker room before games. I really don't want to come out and watch the team warm up. I leave that to my assistants because I don't want to get mad before the game starts. And so I'm always back in the locker room, and I want to thank Dr. Dan Murray, who's always back in the locker room with me. He's been there for years with me before the game starts. That, uh, he's supposed to keep me calm. Now, I don't know how good of a job he did when the game started, so if, I wasn't calm. Blame him for it. Um, but Dan, I want you to. I want to thank you for what you've done in my life, leading Jesus to me. Jesus Christ is the most important thing that's ever happened to me, and He's my Lord and Savior. And I appreciate what you did. Very special thanks. It's been my honor to coach all my players the last thirty years, and it's been an honor and privilege to be with all my assistants for the last 30 years. And I have a lot of players that know what's going on today that have jobs, but I have a lot of players that's driven in from all over today. And if you're a former player of mine, would you stand up for a minute, please? Former players. Thank you. I know they've come in from all over, and a lot of them are teaching school and coming from all over the state. And I know a lot of them are wanting to be here this morning. And then the team, my team, I think my team is here this morning, so I'm your head coach for a few more minutes. Would you stand up for a minute? Hurry up, move it. You know, we've only, only been successful, and these guys understand that, we've only been successful to become a great, pro, uh, a great program through your work ethic and the heart and soul that you put into this program. And like Dr. Dottavio said, we're going to have a 30-year reunion in June. We're bringing all 30 teams back, all 30 teams from 1988 to this year. We're bringing them all back, and that'll be a special day, and, and uh, we hope that you'll come and be a part of that. Um, this basketball program will always be a special family. There's not very often in, in college basketball that a coach stays for 30 years. He usually gets fired by now. I don't, you know, I look around and there's very few of us, the Krzyzewskis at Duke, he's been over 30 years. There's not very many of us that stay for 30 years in one place. And I've stayed for 30 years in one place is because of you. The faculty, the staff, the student organizations, the administrations, I've stayed here because of the great leadership and, and, and the great family and tradition that Tarleton State really is. And it's made me want to be here. And I could never think of when people came calling to go somewhere else. This is my home. This is where I've raised my children. This is where I wanted to be. And this is, this, this is what purple and white is all about. It's, it's in your blood. And I tell my players this, and, and the players that have played here for 30 years, it's ne nothing's ever changed. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the successes that they have accomplished, not only on the court, but getting their degrees and going off the floor and being men of character. And we always close everything that we do with three words. And I think that they, you know, when you first come here, you think, well, what does that mean? But when you play for me, and when the year's done, you understand these three words. We, we break our huddles. We've always gotten ourselves together by things we always say, team, family, believe. What that means is as we come together as a team, we will believe in each other, and once we believe in each other, we will become a family, one that can live together, strive together, hurt together, laugh together, cry together, smile together. And we've cut many nets down in this gym, and those memories, 
for you guys that are here that's cut nets down and for you guys that are here that will cut nets down in the future, there's no greater feeling than being able to share this with this university, with this community, with this great Texan Club Booster Club, with our corporate people. We're all one big family in Stephenville. And you know what? There's other universities cannot experience what we experience here at Tarleton with the great leadership. I thank you for 30 years, and I really appreciate your attendance this morning. God bless all of you. Thank you, Coach. I assume we can continue to call you Coach. Sure. Yeah? Once a coach, always a coach. Well, when Lon uh, told us of his decision, uh, the obvious uh, next challenge was we need a coach. We need someone who knows the game as a player and a coach. A coach who has celebrated success and achieved excellence. A coach who will work to develop student athletes as players and as Lon said, men of character, who understands the history, the traditions, the core values of this university and this community. And as you probably all expect, we didn't have to look very far. We found our coach right here. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to announce that Tarleton's next men's basketball coach is Mr. Chris Reisman. <clears throat> He needs to sit down because I have a lot more things to say about him. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, in selecting a, a new coach, uh, you not only have to think about what the future of the program is, how they fit with the university, but you also have to think about the current players. These folks have been part of a team and have had some uh, expectations. I think in Chris, we, under, we have someone who understands those three words that you've been hearing for so long, team, family, and belief. Chris understands this team because he helped recruit, I believe, all of them. Chris is indeed a part of the family. He's been through the highs and lows of this program, and Chris certainly believes in his alma mater because he's enormously proud to say that he has not just one, but two degrees from Tarleton State University. He's been our, on our basketball staff for 17 years, 12 of those years as our associate head coach. And this year, I think he received an enormous honor in being rated among the top assistant coaches in the nation at any level. Chris came to Stephenville when he was just a little bit younger than you, Rush. He was nine years old at the time, and he never left. And so I expect there's not much other than purple and white in your closet, Chris. He came here from Stephenville High School to play for his dad, and he helped uh, to make them the 1999 Lone Star Conference championship, uh, champion. As a player, he set records in assists, which I think is a great credential for a coach because it certainly means he knows how to help others reach their goals. Chris has been really an integral part of our basketball program as a player. He's scouted and recruited. He's helped with academic counseling, and he certainly has been in instrumental in developing uh, strategies for each and every game. I'll tell you what, in my 10 years uh, watching Lon and Chris side by side, uh, it's uh, pretty, been a lot of fun to watch, actually. You cannot probably see two more different people you know, Lon, as Lon was giving the evil eye, <laughs> you probably all know it, to the ref, Chris was there calmly f formulating the next play. And wh while Lon was chewing on one of you players as you were coming off the court, Chris was providing the guidance for the player going onto the court. Lon has characterized him as a perfectionist. He said he's a surgeon when he dissects uh, film. T.D. Harrell. Thank you for being here, TD. Former player, current coach, said this about him. 
Throughout my nine years here, I witness a man who will strive for nothing less than perfection, and a coach who will never let a loss be hung on the hat of lack of preparation. He will continue to inspire generations of players and show them what the Tarleton State men's basketball team is all about, a team that becomes a family that believes in one another. And Jason Hooten, I think many of you know Jason, uh, head men's basketball coach at Sam Houston State, uh, former coach here, former player here, he said this about him. Chris Reisman is more than ready and deserving to be the next coach of my alma mater. He's a very intelligent, highly motivated, and well-respected young coach in our profession. I've known Chris for 25 years, and it's been a privilege watching him grow as a player, man, father, and coach. So like TD and Jason Hooten, I too think Chris is more than ready to take the reins of this legendary basketball program. I'm excited certainly for our players, our basketball family, the university, and this community for the Chris Reisman era of Tarleton basketball history. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new head coach of Tarleton State University's basketball team, Mr. Chris, Chris Reisman. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming today. Thank you, Dr. Tavio, for giving me this great opportunity. Thank you to Nathan, Ryan, and Savion for putting on this tremendous press conference. I'd like to recognize my family that's here today. My son, Rush, has been coming to Games and Wisdom Gym since he was two weeks old. He's taken Rush to school today, and we were, he's known about this for about a week, and it's been tough on him because he hasn't been able to tell anybody. And... Uh, we were talking about the press conference, and I told him, I said, you know what, when this is official, I think my first official duty as head coach is going to be to sign you as my first recruit in the class of 2028. And I could tell all these numbers were going through his head, and he looked at me and he said, get the papers ready. I felt pretty good until he got out the door, and he looked in it to me and he said, unless Coach K calls me. <laughs> Honestly, this is surreal right now. I'm overrun with emotion. You hope and pray this day is coming, but you can never simulate the feelings that come with this. On one hand, this is one of the most blessed and exciting days of my life. But on the other, it's one of the saddest and most bittersweet moments of my life. And it's not hard to explain to the many of you that have been around this program for the last 20, 30 years why it feels this way. I've had something special here at Tarleton, and I've always known it. Back in 97 as a player, and now 21 years later as a coach, I've had a chance to be alongside my hero, my best friend, and my father. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it was always great, that it was fun or easy, but it was always worth it. I was not a yes person. If I thought we had a better chance to win doing something, I voiced my opinion. It wasn't always the popular one. There are many people here today that can vouch for the heated exchanges that took place between me and Coach Reisman, either on the court, the locker room, and behind closed doors. But it was all for the success of Tarleton, and in my mind, the success that Coach Reisman built here. This program has never had to question my loyalty or my passion. Tarleton has given me so much, and for that, I will be forever grateful. For the last 17 years as an assistant coach, I knew I knew what I had wasn't ordinary. It was extraordinary. I realized how lucky and blessed I was, and I was never going to leave that. I was never going to leave Coach Reisman. You know, there's no script for a father-son coaching dynamic to be successful. Believe me, if there was a book, I would have bought it. If there was a DVD, I would have studied it. But we kind of learned on our own. In my 20 years of college basketball, I've only met two other coaching duos that were father-son. And I remember one of them telling me one day, Chris, enjoy it as long as you can, because when it's over, it'll never be the same. 
And in just one week, I can tell you it's not going to be the same. Coach Reisman has bar none been the most influential person in my life. My father gave me the greatest gift an assistant coach could ever have, unwavering trust. He gave me a platform to showcase my ideas and strategies. He gave me a stepping stone to build my confidence as a coach. And if something failed, he took the blame. And if something succeeded, he gave me, the other assistant coaches, and the players the credit. Coach is the most selfless and humble person I've ever known. Not a day went by I didn't learn from him. I've worked with some other great assistant coaches that have helped me get where I am today, and I'd be regretful if I didn't thank them. Coach Jason Hooten was my mentor starting out. I played for him and coached alongside him. I learned so much during that time about how to be a well-rounded coach and the standard he held himself to daily. He was the greatest recruiter I've ever known. I wish I had more time with him during my younger years, but he had a great opportunity and he took it. And looking back, it forced me to take giant steps at the beginning of my coaching career. And I will forever be grateful and I just want to say thank you to him. Other assistants that deserve mention that have helped me get here today, Roddy Mac McConnell, Ronnie Hamilton, Jabbar Adams, Nick Cantrell, Matt Keefe, J.D. Robinson, Marlon Cloudy, Coleman First, and Chris T.D. Harrell. Thank you all for each part you have played in my career. I know I'm not the easiest guy to work with or alongside. I'm demanding. I'm a perfectionist. But these guys helped me get here today, and without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I've had some great players along the way, and they've always been very supporting. The many stay in touch, and some are even here today. But to all of them, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for letting me push you. The 6 a.m. runs, the individuals, the practices, the film sessions, the scouting reports, and the occasional test to make sure you were listening. Wednesday, I spoke to the team for the first time after Coach Reisman announced to them his decision. And I can tell you the same thing I told them. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. And no one understands the expectations of this program better than I do. I won't allow the expectations to change. The standard of this program is not going to change. Tarleton State is in my blood. It's my passion. I take great pride in selling and representing this university, and I always have. We have the greatest fans. We have incredible cheer and dance squads here. The best band, the most unbelievable spirit groups, and I always have and I will always continue and strive to make them proud. I could be up here forever telling you stories, but I gotta tell you one. When I first got promoted to full-time assistant coach about 15 to 16 years ago, Coach Hooten had just taken a job at Sam Houston. He had been here for 11 years. And Coach Reisman called, it was Coach Mack and me, to his office. We were in our first year as full-time assistant coaches. We came in his office, he told us to shut the door. And he looked at us without saying anything for a few moments, and he said, the Lone Star Conference threw a party today. And we're looking at him like, what is he talking about? He says, Coach Hooten's gone. He was the best assistant coach that I've ever had here. The conference can't wait to see what type of players you bring in. They can't wait to beat us. Coach Reisman always knew how to push buttons. He still knows. And it motivated us. There was many nights I know Coach Mack and I were up here till 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. And then I remember coming back up here before 6 a.m. because I didn't want to let down Tarleton and I didn't want to let down Coach Reisman. And let me tell you again, the LSC coaches are salivating. Fast forward 17 years. They're all thinking Tarleton's going to fall out of the mix. And this is a great motivation for me. This will be a great motivation for my staff and this will be a great motivation for the players. It will fuel us. Let's get one thing straight. 
There's never going to be another Coach Lon Reisman at any level. But here at Tarleton, there'll still be a Coach Reisman. And as long as I'm here, I'd like to tell you, I'd like to tell our former players, including my teammates, that you will continue to have a place in our family. You will always be welcome. I will make sure that every future player that comes in here learns what it means to break the huddle with team, family, belief. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity, and thank you all for coming.